need to up my barbecue game. I, I can cook some things, but I'm weak with barbecue. You gotta help me. So where do I start? Do I start with the ingredient that I must cook, or do I start with wood? You wanna start with a, a high quality piece of meat, and then it's just a cooking process. You wanna have a nice clean fire, you want a nice basic rub, and, and, and just practice. Practice makes perfect. I think the biggest mistake people make is too much heat. We don't want a lot of heat, right? No, we like it low and slow and, 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 and a good quality smoke going through our pits. What kind of wood? Oh, we like oak. It's uh, local to this area. And we're doing a Central Texas style barbecue and uh, we use uh, oak constantly. Wood goes in here. Yes, sir. And then once we get the temperature set and we've got our meat all ready, and everything's ready to go, then we can go ahead and put it in. That's it. That's part of the secret too, is sealing it. Very insulated smokers, they're very oh. they're very efficient, and you know it is a good piece of equipment, you're, you're gonna get a better product. If we have a grill at home, or a smoker at home, how should we place it if we're gonna load this That's a great up? question. We try to, to, to cook briskets in the safest environment. So if you were cooking on a Weber at home, I would try to build a very small hot fire and to cook my brisket as far away from that fire as I possibly could. Take me through trimming a brisket. What do I, first off, what utensils I need and how do I do it? Okay, you need a sharp knife, a sharp butcher knife. Um, and recently I've been using a mallet and it's because you get less waste. And I suggest obviously when you're at home cooking one brisket, you want less waste waste because you're not making sausage or something. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I've learned recently. Great. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna start on the back side. You're gonna wanna discard this right here. And boom. Okay. Smash it down a little bit. And we're trying to get basically the point as even as the flat. And we cook our briskets fat side up. And look, you want to you want to rub your hand on this to get it real smooth. You don't want craters because then your bark's not going to really develop. You're going to get pools. That's it, and your money's in your slice. So boom, well, Brett's going to show you in a second. He's going to start over here, and we're going to almost be able to get all the way to here in our slice. And and what's to make the bark? I know you're going to use a rub or a seasoning. It's a myth that people think a lot of rub makes bark. But what it is is just a combination of salt, pepper, smoke that, that we get to, to, to get our bark. So this is some like fresh cracked black pepper. That's it. A little salt. Yep. Kosher salt. Brett, Bobby told me that the brisket had to rest and it kind of bleeds through the paper. That's absolutely right. And what's the importance of the resting? Uh, the resting is just basically when the brisket come off, they're piping hot, they're steaming. You let any kind of meat rest for any kind of amount of time. Let the juices really kind of sink back into it. And the butcher paper just kind of helps keep it all in there. So it just kind of sits in its own juices so as it's sitting. So we're about to cut this baby. Absolutely. That is absolutely yep. gorgeous. So that's what everybody talks about, the bark. Yep. When you're at home, you want to cut it with the grain, against the grain. You kind of, when you I do like any kind of that'll be like against the grain for the most part. So you can kind of, you kind of turn around to the back and you can definitely kind of see it. You can see where the grain is right here. Okay. That's one way to definitely tell, especially when it's trimmed properly and it's on there like that. And the, the grain goes, it goes like this. So it's basically just uh, that. Oh, nice. Like that. Look at that. Why having a sharp knife is very important. That pink. That's all that smoky goodness in there. Yeah, a lot of people. Right. Yeah, a lot of people confuse that for like being undercooked. It's really just what smoke does to meat. Any kind of meat you smoke will always pinking it a bit. And these things are smoking for 14 hours or longer. It's succulent. The meat is just succulent. Oh! I watched Brett cut that brisket, and it was just. I saw the shape that you cut. I saw the bark, and when it sliced, it just it just melted away. And then I tasted it. Come on, you gotta, uh, you said just salt and pepper and smoke. Salt, pepper, smoke. We, we, we care for the brisket before we smoke it. We wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. But you put a little bit of yourself in each piece. We, we all love what we're doing. You gotta put some love in it, yeah. I think you put a lot of love well, in it. Well, I appreciate the kind words, now, yes. Okay, we got brisket. Brett told me we got ribs. Yes, sir. We got pulled pork. Yes, sir. What do we have to go with that? 
Okay, we do very simple, small size. We go beans, mac, and slaw. Our beans have our jalapeno and cheddar uh, sausage in it. They have our brisket in it. Uh, Chase and Waits, who's around here somewhere. So the sausage yes. is made homemade from the trimmings off the brisket. Our sausage, we take it somewhere. We take it to Glenn at the Gourmet Butcher Block, and he processes our our, our trimmings, and he makes it to, to our recipe, yes. So you make a sausage, and then the sausage is in the beans. Absolutely. You talking dirty. Whenever you're ready to eat them. So what is your favorite thing? You're hungry, you want to, what's your, what's your go-to? Um, I'm gonna come in when I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat a link of sausage with some onions and jalapenos every time. You have changed the way I look at barbecue. Thank you. You have, I think I can go home and do this, but you know what? You're not planning on going out of business soon, are you? No, I hope not. No, okay, sir. Okay, good. So I don't have to do it at home. I tell you what, gang. You know, they say New Orleans is not known for barbecue, but yes, it is now. I want to thank you all. The crew at LA23 Barbecue. If you don't think this city has good barbecue, you got to come here, meet this gang. Oh, you're going to lick your fingers, baby. Oh, for Great Day Louisiana, come on down to LA23 Barbecue and get your grub on.